Hey guys, Richardson here. Welcome back to another how to video. Today I'll be showing you how to detect if a player is sneaking, crouching, holding shift. Just d crouching, I don't know. There's multiple. Everyone I talk to say, oh, it's called shift. Oh, it's called crouch. Oh, it's called. Okay, you, you guys get the idea. So, what you need to do is have cheats on so you can get yourself a command block. It's a really only way to uh, detect it. And you need to make yourself a scoreboard. So you need to make it here. I'm just gonna throw it into a command block so it's easier for you guys to see it. And where's my script? Oh no, I lost my script. Oh, there it is, I found it. Scoreboard, objectives, add, and the name. Um, shift, sneak, crouch, anything that, whatever you guys prefer. I'm just gonna put sneak. I think that's the overall what everyone prefers. Watch me be wrong and everyone's going to be like, you should have put crouch. Oh, okay, fine. We're going to do sneak. I don't care. And then here, you're going to do Minecraft, um, period. Uh, what's the next thing? Oh, custom. Custom, if you can spell it properly. Colon, Minecraft again. Yeah, I don't know why. Period. And then it's um, sneak time. There it is. So that's the scoreboard. You don't need a command block for this one. Here you go, scoreboard, add, sneak, blah, blah, blah. And you got yourself a sneak objective. You can just quickly double check by doing list. And you got yourself sneak. You probably don't have these two unless you were watching my other tutorials. Now, we need two com command blocks. So I'm just gonna put them here. You don't want the arrows going this way or Connecting to each, uh, pointing to each other. I mean, not point, pointing in one direction like this. I think, yeah. This command block needs to be pointing to this command block. Who cares which one this command block is pointed to? So the first one, we're gonna put, and I lost, where'd, where'd it go? Here it is. Okay. Uh, execute. That's not how you spell execute. Okay. Execute. Oh my god, where's my, my, why is my script so horrible? Okay. Ex execute as. And now you can either do the closest player or all players. And we're going to do everyone because, I mean, for me, I'm on a single player world. Uh, this, If you're on a single player, you can do uh, at P. But if you're on a server, you can do at A, depending on what, you, what your mood is. Open, closed, square brackets. And we're going to do scores equal one dot dot. Wait, I did this all wrong. Score equal open closed curly bracket and then the name um co wait uh no what am I, oh, equal one dot dot oh my god i'm messing up my colons and equals now okay at a open close square bracket score equal scores equal curly yeah okay <laughs> just making sure i don't want to make a mistake and then run basically anything you want to do when the player shifts. So for our testing purposes, I'm just gonna do give at P, or it should be at A, a diamond. Why not? And you need to make this a repeat, and we're gonna give it a lever. We're not gonna put the lever yet. Yeah, we'll leave it on. We'll leave it alone for a little bit. And then the second one, this one's gonna be scoreboard. So this is gonna reset the, um, no. This is going to reset the counter. So it will be scoreboard, player, set, um, at all, sneak to zero. And there you go. Wait, not there you go. You need to make a chain, conditional, and always active. You put yourself a lever, turn it on. You're going to get a diamond because you sneaked to put the diamond on. But now every time you sneak or crouch, or hold shift, uh, you get yourself a wonderful amount of diamonds. Now, diamonds is not a good thing, probably. So, there's a few other things you can do, like effect to give um, the player levitation for one, one. So, now when you hold, uh, when you shift, you now start flying. <laughs> there's a few more things you can do with this. Um, maybe, you, maybe you want to do a run. Execute at a player, run, uh, particle, explosion, 
squiggly, squiggly, squiggly. So now when you crouch, you basically start. <laughs> I don't know. You could, you, the possibilities of what you could do with this is endless. Or maybe you can do like a, you can make a message saying, uh, why are you crouching? Or I don't know. You guys could do anything. You can probably make rocket boots, jetpack. Not none of this weird cringe that I'm doing. To be honest, the particle one's my favorite. So uh, run effect or or just yeah, just yeah. The the levitation's good. You, it's it's close to a jetpack. Just imagine I'm wearing boots or something, and then next thing you know, you're flying. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a good next video idea, right? Who wants to see uh, how to make a jetpack or I mean rocket boots or something like that? Yeah, so once you let go, you're gonna fall. Yeah. So yeah, here you go. Here's the lovely command. You need this uh, scoreboard objective. You need this lovely command, and then you need to reset it. You probably don't even need this. Actually, I might be wrong. What will happen if I got rid of it? Oh, never mind. Nothing. No, it's gonna run forever. Because no, nothing's gonna, no. What have I done? You need a command. No, go back. Put this back on. Phew. You need the command block. See, this is why I always do a little test in the end. Just to make sure. So yeah, you need this command and this command to make it work. Just don't forget about this one. Chain conditional and always active. Okay. So yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more weird tutorials like this one. And yeah, anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video and bye guys! We can fly we can fly to the moon. The moon's kinda too far away and we're going really slow. So yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!